Hi all, this is Mr. Lim here again um, with another video on organic chemistry with esters and structure and nomenclature. All right, so we're going to be learning about how to draw one, how to name one, how to draw one, so kind of stuff. Okay, so esters are organic substances made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen that have an R and an R dash functional group within them, separated by the ester group. So this is the R group. This is the R dash group, and it's going to be important for you to understand what that means when they're separated by that ester group in the middle. So here is the ester group. It's a carbon double bonded to an oxygen and then single bonded to another oxygen, so it's very similar to a carboxylic acid. All right, and then on one side, you've got the R dash group, okay, and on the other side, you've got the R group, which does actually also include that carbon there. So I'm going to change that color to there. All right, so that's what it means by the R and the R dash, and they can be of variable length, so this side of the R group can be four, the R dash group can be three. But it's gonna be important for you to identify which one is the R dash and which one is the R group. So this is the R group and this is the R dash group, and you would be able to tell which one is which by this ester group and the way that that ester group is orientated. Okay, so whichever group is bonded to the uh, single bonded O is the R group that single bonded O, okay? Whichever one is bonded with the carbon, with the double bond, all right? That's that one, uh, that's the R group. And it's gonna be important for you to make that distinguish, uh, that distinction later on, okay? So, what else have I got on this slide? I don't know, something, okay? So let's draw what that looks like. That, uh, that, ester group here, just an electron dot diagram of that, just to let you know what it looks like. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be important later on when we do physical properties to notice that there are four lone pairs of electrons here. All right, and then those um, go on to that, V, B, that R group, the R dash group on that side, and then the R group on this side, just single bonded going that way and that way. Okay, so have a move on and let's have a look. So naming an ester can be done by naming the R and the R dash group. So again, you're just going to have to remember that this side here is the R dash and this side here is the R group. Okay. The R dash group is named by its length and the suffix O and the R group is named by its length and the suffix O8. Okay. So let's have a look at this uh, substance here. First of all, here's your ester group. Okay. And we should be able to tell that the R dash group is on the right hand side. Okay, how do we tell that? Because here is the single bonded O that we're looking for, right? And that's the side where the R dash group is. Where's the R group? It's here. Is that correct? Ba -ba. No, it's here. Don't forget that that carbon in the ester is part of that R group. Okay, so let's name this thing. It's going to be, okay, how long is this uh, R dash group? Okay, so it's actually going to be the R dash group first, right? And so it's going to be propyl, okay, propyl, and then butanoate. Propyl butanoate, okay? So propyl for the R dash group, then butanoate for the R group, and it's the R dash group first that gets named. Okay, so this one is first, this one is second. Okay, all right. Let's move on. So the position of the ester functional group is not shown with a number because its position will be defined by the length of the two chains on either side. So effectively, wherever that COO group is, will be you work it out by the fact that you know you're telling it it's a methyl pentanoate, which means it'll have one on one side and five on the other side. Okay, so let's do methyl pentanoate. Okay, how would we draw this? I would suggest that you start with the ester group. Okay, so here's the ester group. Okay, then I've got to draw my R dash group, which is the first part, the R dash, oops, the R dash, okay, which means it's a methyl, which means oh, that's easy enough, and then pentanoate, which is my, oh, whoops, I got the colors wrong there, that should be blue, okay, was that blue? I can't remember, I think it was blue, all right, and then pentanoate. Now, remember that this is also part of that chain, so it's one, two, three, four, five, there. Okay, and then bop, 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 there is all your hydrogens. Okay, so methyl pentanoate. Remember, first of all, draw your ester group. Then you work out, okay, which side's the R dash, 
which side's the R group, okay? Then draw it appropriately with the number of carbons, and also remembering that this carbon is part of the R group there. Okay, so let's try it. Oh, whoops, okay. So side groups of the R and the R dash chains are named before the num uh, before the chain it is on. Okay, so what you'll have is side groups of R dash, then the name of R dash, then the side groups of R, then the name of R. Okay, so the numbering of each chain occurs from the ester group. Okay, so here's your ester group. Okay, from the ester group with one carbon being the first carbon from the O in the chain, okay? So if you've got the R dash group here, this is number one, this is number two, this is number three, okay? If you've got the R group on this side, is this none number one? No, because don't forget this one is here. So one, two, three, four. So the largest numbers on both chains will be on the terminal carbons, okay? So the largest numbers, three and four there, are on the terminal carbons. Okay, so let's just draw a couple ethyl propanoate. So again, draw the uh, the um, ester group. Then let's draw the R dash group. Okay, so R dash ethyl one two three. Uh, sorry, one two. Okay, and then propanoate on the other side. One two three. Hmm. No, because you've forgotten that this one is there. Okay, so just remember that that propanoate includes that carbon there as well. Okay, so that's ethyl propanoate with the R and the R dash group. Okay, all right, let's try the next one. Pentyl ethanoate, so this is the opposite. Okay, we did ethyl pentanoate, now this is pentyl ethanoate. So now I have my R dash group. So one, two, three, four, five. And then my R group, okay, I got the one there, so therefore I just need one more there. Okay, then I can just draw my hydrogens as well on that one there. All right, and then let's try this one. 2-methyl-2, 2-methyl-butyl, two 2-methyl-butanoate. Two, uh, two okay, so ester group. Okay, so the R dash group is here. Okay, so it's the butyl. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Then I've got a two methyl. Where is this methyl? Okay, so this is one, two, three, four. So this is on here. Here's my methyl group. Okay. And then I can also add all the hydrogens in. Okay. Then I've got two methyl butanoate. Okay, so where's the uh, R group, it's the butanoate, and remembering that this is also number one. Okay, so this is number one, so I've only got three more. One, two, three, four. That makes that two methyl group is on this one here. Okay, two methyl, oops, I need that one. Two methyl uh, butyl, two methyl butanoate. Okay, just like that. Remember when you're drawing these, make sure that bond goes to that uh, atom that it's actually bonding to. Okay, let's move on. All right, let's go name this. Oh no, this is taking forever. Okay, so let's go through. Uh, this is the ester group. Okay, which side is the R dash one on? It's on this side because of here, the oxygen there. All right, where's the R group? Uh, one, two, three, four, all the way to the end there. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is an octanoate. And how big is this side group? It's a methyl, methyl octanoate. Okay, uh, let's have a look at this one here. Okay, so uh, ester group here, R dash group here, R group here. Okay, so which one go? Well, let's name the R dash group first. Okay, it's a one, two, three, four long, so it's a butyl. It has a methyl group on it, and that methyl group is on the one, two, three, the third carbon, so three methyl butyl. And then this R group here, it's a two chain. No, ba -ba, it's a three chain. Okay, so it's a propanoate. And I've left the room to say where that methyl group is. That methyl group is on the one, two, 
two oops two methyl propanoate okay and then you can have a go at this one here look it's got an uh, alcohol group there so don't forget how to where to name that all right that's it